Hey, YouTubers out there, YouTube land. God bless you, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, and Pinkneyville, Illinois. The last 11 days, we've had temperatures for seven, for 11 straight days, over 100 plus temperature. Judgments come on the land because President Obama, who's the Antichrist, his uh, endorsement of same-sex marriages in the United States of America and his Obamacare and three strikes is at the old ball game. He's invited the president of Egypt. He's a hardcore Muslim of the Muslim Brotherhood to the White House in September 2012. And uh, it's so hot in Pinkneyville these 11 last days with people have suffered in Pinkneyville, Illinois, in Southern Illinois here. And it's red hot out there, just like my shirt here. And it just hot weather got my Italian uh, blood of oven. You know, it's been ungodly temperatures. And my new prophecy this time is going to be prophecy on extreme drought and famine in U.S. land. So I'm going to give you the weather report. What's been happening the last, last days in Pinkneyville, No, it's just been the worst temperature. Uh, since 1936, it's going to be the second hottest there, stretch, 100 degrees since the uh, Death Bowl, 1936, uh, Death of the Depression here in, in 2012. And uh, this is what's happening here. It's just a burning inferno outside. You could cook an egg there on the sidewalk or on the street there. You wouldn't need no electric or gas to do it. On June the 28th, 2012, it was 105 degrees here in Pinkneyville, Illinois. June the 29th, 2012, it was 107 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois. June the 30th, 2012, it was 104 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois. July the 1st, 2012, it was uh, 106 in Pinkneyville, Illinois. July the 2nd, 2012, it was 100 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois. July the 3rd, it was a 2012 was 100 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois, and July the 4th, 2012 was hotter than firecracker on the 4th of July. It was 104 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois. July the 5th, 2012, it was 107 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois. Uh, July the 6th, 2012 was 107 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois. July the 7th, 2012, it was 106 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois. And today on July the 8th, 2012, it's a 100 degrees in Pinkneyville, Illinois. 11 straight days of 100 plus uh, temperatures in Pinkneyville, Illinois. Only in 1936, they had 13 straight days when the midst of a depression, United States of America, and the Death Bowl. And the corn crop is wiped out 100%. We're in the uh, corn belt. The whole uh, famine's in the land. The corn crop's wiped out uh, 100%. The uh, Bible belts burning up infernal. Uh, uh, heat, just, uh, ungodly temperatures, you can't really get your breath, it's like a hot blast of furnace here. And uh, this is the Bible prophecy today, it's prophecy on uh, extreme drought and famine in U.S. land. God gave this to me on uh, June the 30th, 2012 and 29 minutes. Open your spiritual eyes and, and listen closely. President Obama's same-sex marriage endorsement of Obamacare has brought a curse of all upon the dry and thirsty land of Egypt and southern Illinois. Fair Obama, let my people go free from your disobedience of the God of Israel. Seven, let's see, eleven straight days of hundred degree plus ungodly temperature is a natural death bow hot heaven is a sign from God. The corn belt is dying from the blessed of Hell's hot, dry, jet stream blast. There is famine in the land like in Joseph's time in the Holy Bible. Southern Illinois Bible Belt is walking through the valley of the shadow of death, spiritual death bowl, famine. This is God's judgment over the land for President Obama is changing the time, seasons, and laws. Fourteen inches short of rain in Southern Illinois is like uh, wandering in the desert. It's going to be a long, hot summer, and showers of blessings won't be here for a while. Water is a blessed buzzword to make mankind survive 
Without water, men, plants, and beasts die. Just like natural water, we need to live. We also need the spiritual living water to quench our thirst for the word of God. Jesus will hold your hand in the holy, blessed, promised land of southern Illinois to lead you to the spiritual oasis to overflow your soul with a good overdose of the Holy Ghost. Pray and cry, Christians, from your brains and hearts to Jesus. Then you will get your miracle of rain. Jesus is the water of your life because a rain day won't fulfill your being. Keep your eyes on Jesus, for the mirage will stop your journey. Don't let the extreme drought take you out because Jesus will help. God give me this uh, anointed prophetic prophecy word on June the 30, 2012 and 29 minutes. That was eight days ago. And uh, Pharaoh Obama let my people go free in Egypt from the Muslim hood brotherhood. Let them go free. Just like Egypt's in judgment in Africa and Egypt and Southern Illinois is in judgment. Now I'm on a, uh, God's holy word. I'm going to line this up, bring it down here where the uh, rubber hits the road here. And today, to back up this prophecy where I'm prophesying, you know, in 2012, this happened 3,700 years ago in the Holy Bible. In Genesis chapter 41, we'll start with verse 14. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. And he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard that say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it. And Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, In my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of the river, and behold, There came up out of the river seven kind, that is cows, fat, fresh, and well favored, and they fat in the meadow. And behold, seven other kind, that is cows, came up after them, poor and very ill, favored, and lean flesh, such as I never saw in all the land of Egypt for badness. And the lean and ill favored kind, that is cows, did eat up the first seven fat cows kind that is cows, and when they had eaten them up, it could not be known that they had eaten them, but they were still ill-favored as that at the beginning. So I awoke, and I saw in my dream, and behold, seven ears, that's corn now, came up in one stalk, full and good, and behold, seven ears, that's corn, weathered, thin, and blasted with the east wind, sprung up after them, and the thin ears devoured the seven good ears, and I told this unto the magicians, but there was none that could declare it to me. <clears throat> and Joseph said unto Pharaoh, The dream of Pharaoh is one. God had showed Pharaoh what he is about to do. And the seven good kind, that's cows, are seven years. And the seven good ears, that's corn, are seven years. The dream is one. And the seven thin and ill-favored kind, that's cows, that came up after them, or seven years, and the seven empty ears, that's corn, blessed with the east wind shall be seven years of famine. This is the thing <clears throat> which I have spoken to Pharaoh, what God is about to do. He showed unto Pharaoh, Behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt, and there shall rise up of them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgot in the land of Egypt, and the famine shall consume the land, and plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of that famine falling, for it shall be very grievous. And for the dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. It is because the thing is established by God, and God will surely, shortly bring it to pass. Now therefore let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise, and set him over the land of Egypt. And let Pharaoh do this, and let him appoint officers over the land, and take up the fifth part of the land, of Egypt in seven plenteous years. And let them gather all the food of those good years that come, and lay up the corn under the hand of Pharaoh, and let them keep food in his cities. And that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt, that the land perish not through the famine. 
and the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh, in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such as this is a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God hath showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according to thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thee. And may God add his blessings upon his holy word. And all you Christians here today in Pinckneyville, Illinois, uh, I want you to be praying because uh, God stopped the heat wave here 2012, 11 straight days, 100 plus temperatures in Pinckneyville, Illinois. And that could be showers of blessings tonight. We thank you, Jesus. And tomorrow in Pinckneyville, Illinois, in Southern Illinois, which is called Egypt, because... Uh, we pray that there's no tornadoes, Lord, or no windstorm, because that happens to Pinkneyville, Illinois, or Southern Illinois, State of Illinois, or anywhere in the United States of America. It'll be damaging. Uh, maybe F5 tornadoes or strong uh, line winds to do some damage and knock our power out. Oh, God, have mercy on our soul, please, Lord. We need the rain. Let your showers of blessing. Let it rain, Lord. Let your showers of blessing fall on the ground. Oh, God, when they're dry and thirsty land, we need your showers of blessing. But, God, don't let the tornadoes or strong uh, windstorms come through and knock our power out. Get people in Pinkneyville, Illinois, be suffering in Southern Illinois, State of Illinois, in, in, in the United States of America. That's our prayer. Have mercy on our soul. Protect us, God, in Pinkneyville, Illinois. For your glory, we pray. Time is running out. This is your time. This is uh, Jesus is appointing time right now. Time no more. One of these days you'll say time no more. This is your time. You're on God's uh, watch. You're on uh, Jesus' uh, time clock. And some of been running for the Lord a long time. This is your time today. The appointed time to accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior. And, and say this prayer with me. There ain't much time left. Jesus will be coming back in the clouds soon. Say this prayer with me. This be your greatest time of your life when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ has saved your soul. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I know it's my time now. This is your divine rendezvous. This is your appointed time. There's not much time left, Lord. And I don't want to go to hell. It's a terrible place. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, uh, forgive me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I repent of all my wicked ways. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen, amen. You said that prayer, Jesus Christ, you saved your soul in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. For the glory be to God. Right, George and Betty. Kelly's channel on YouTube. Write us, tell us you just accepted Jesus Christ all around the world. Email us. It's on a, uh, our featured uh, page here on Georgia Betty Kelly's channel on YouTube. And we love you. Keep praying for Lee Southern Ministries in Pinckneyville, Illinois, for Georgia and Betty Kelly and my daughter Alicia Kelly's helping us. We'll be praying for you. And, and we thank Jesus for you all. We love you. But most important, Jesus loves you. And we give God all the praise and glory for the many blessings of God. Thank you, YouTube, for this video. And write me your hundreds and thousands and millions of people. I know you said to Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, because this was your time today. Jesus saved your, to your soul. This was your time. Jesus saved many souls today. This was God's appointed time, divine rendezvous time. And I thank you, Jesus. They're on your time clock. They're on your watch. Thank you in Jesus' holy name. Because time's about ready to run out. There's not much time left. Goodbye. God bless you. Have a good day. Showers of blessings on the way.